gents and boys and girls. How you doing today? Well, I hope everybody's going to have this off a great day. Um, this is uh, Brenda back from Wish Me Luck Thrifting, and I'm just here to show you, you know, another few items that I pick up around the place here and there and everywhere. So I hope you'll get some enjoyment out of it, and uh, I'm not going to talk too much. I'm just going to show you the items, and thank you for tuning in and, and uh, sticking with me. So, uh, this first items I have are this, these nice two, um, two uh, lanterns, you know, that you could set outdoors or leave them in your house. Pretty. They're a light blue and uh, kind of rustic, you know, rusty in some, you know, around the edges. But, uh, you know, you can always repaint these anyway. These would be spray paint some other color or you know whichever color you like or you just like to leave the color they are but anyways they are nice and uh, they do have glass inserts in them there's two two big glass inserts inside of these and uh, they seem to be in really good condition I didn't see any chips or cracks or anything you know on the glass it's a nice glass and and still further on the inside, there's candles. There are uh, candles on the, uh, I think, so. I don't know if someone um, glued the candles in there or, uh, or that's the way they came in there, but I guess someone looked like they started to burn this one to test it, probably see what the light looked like. like I never tried it myself, but I mean, you could, you could even put the, uh, you know, the, uh, those little lights in them with the batteries. You could even put those inside of them, you know, if you want to leave them in the house. Or you could put them outdoors with those lights, too. But they're really nice. And, you know, they're heavy. They got a little weight to them. Not that heavy, but they're nice. I had, the, I did set them out on the table outdoors just to try, but they didn't blow over in the wind. So, and it was really windy out. They stood there. They were standing up, but... So I said, I, you know, I brought them in just to show them. They are nice. I never picked them up. This is the first time I've ever found a set like this and picked it up. Most times I never picked them up anyway, but for, you know, the price they were. And I thought they looked really nice, you know. With the, I like this decoration here all around. It's really nice. And I couldn't believe how big the glass insert was in them. You know, really, it's really nice. So anyway, this must be an older style set, maybe. But they're nice. So anyways, you could put, um, like I said, you could put different type of, you could put the other kind of candles in, you know, the ones with the battery that you, uh, you turn on, you know, that, and they had the flame, looks like they come out of them. So there's different things you can do with these, or you could spray paint them different color or leave them the same color. You know, you do them up the way, you know, people like them, but the colors you like yourself. But this is always a nice color, this color here. So anyways, this is a nice set of uh, lanterns, and I think these stand like 10 inches in height. Yeah, they're 10 inches in height, so they're a really nice, nice set. And then, joining me in my my items are these uh, amber glasses, which are, uh, you know, always a nice color and beautiful. I've got uh, this pattern. I think this is something like they call the King's Crown pattern. This one is uh, it's really nice, and there's four of these. So I'm just, I just brought three out. I didn't bring them all out and put them on the table. This one stands four and a half inches in height. So this is a beautiful little one for, you know, some type of drink. I'm not exactly sure the right type of, uh, you know, liquor or wine and stuff or whatever you put in them, whichever one you use. I don't know. And then this one is beautiful. This one has the, uh, I'm not sure what you call this pattern, but it's a nice pattern to it. And the color is really nice, and there's four of these too. 
and these are five and a half inches in height beautiful amber and then this one I think is the diamond point uh, pattern this is the larger one and it's beautiful and there's also four of these and this one stands uh, six and a half inches or almost six and three quarter inches but really pretty you know amber always looks nice a lot of people bring this color out in the fall you could use it all year round you know you decorate but it's really nice and, and I found four of each so that was good because sometimes you know a lot of times you find uh, three or two or if you find four sometimes one's cracked or broke or chipped on the bottom and these were in really good condition so you know I had to pick them up I couldn't believe I found them all at once on the same day which was really good and then I got this, this, uh, these are really nice, which I thought, uh, might, you know, someone might take a like and do. You never know who likes what anyway, but these are, um, this is a nice set of, uh, I think it's like burnt metal, um, bookends, little pails on the ends or buckets, whatever you want to call them, they're really nice. It's a nice set and the way they were made is really nice and these were made in Hong Kong yep they're made in Hong Kong these bookends and the, the the handles on them don't move but they don't have to move really but really nice and then you could also put you know some plants on the ends of them which are really nice Oh, I just had these little plants to show to put in them. So they're really nice. And they stand. These are at least four and three quarter inches. Four and three quarter inches in height. But they're really cute. I like them. This. I've seen this stuff before, this burnt metal stuff. I think I, I don't even know if I picked any of it up, any more of it. I used to see it, but I thought, well, I never picked that up, so I'm going to try these uh, bookends because I thought they were really nice. And they're made in Hong Kong. In Hong Kong, you know, they usually make pretty good, uh, unique, unusual things. I guess they make a quite a bit of it, but, you know, you find a piece here and there. You don't always find a lot of stuff made in Hong Kong, but, you, you know, you find it. Next item I have is this beautiful lidded uh, dish. I think this is uh, either pink or peach color. Sometimes it looks pink, and sometimes it looks peach, so it's hard to tell. And it's like a frosted or satin glass. This really needs a good wash and needs to be soaked in soap and water. It's it's really nice, you know. It's one of those dishes you can set in your bathroom or on your uh, on your dresser. And um, really nice, except for this the the uh, on the finial. This has uh, a little chip out of it. Chip on. The, I mean, once you got it turned around or. If you, you have to look really close anyway to see it, but I mean, if it's just sitting there, you know, you're not going to even notice it. But it is there. There is no markings on this. It's just a, it's just a nice, lidded, uh, nice lidded dish. And I also have this, um, this uh, nice uh, older style uh, dresser uh, mirror handheld dresser mirror or for in your bathroom wherever you want to put it I don't know what the pattern of this I don't know what you call that pattern that's on it I don't know what the pattern would be called it's a nice pattern but you know No markings or anything on it, but it does. The only problem it has, it has nice, the glass is like bevel glass. It's really nice. It needs to be cleaned up a bit. But it just has a, a chip here on the bottom part of it, this part here, and one here. 
This is some little chipping of the material. But uh, other than that, it's a, you know, it's old anyway, so it's probably bound to have something wrong with it. Good thing the glass is still in really good condition. It's not broke or anything. A lot of times you find the glass, you know, all wore down, you know, it's a, uh, you get that weirdness on it. But this looks good. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Really does. So that's, that's not, uh, not bad this little mirror for anybody that collects old vintage mirrors and then I got two of these which are which are so pretty these placemats is only two but I just thought they were so pretty to go with the summer beautiful and these are still brand new they're called Myla Green Myla Green they're only made in China but you know they're still really pretty the colors Yeah, they're nice colors. I don't use a lot of these on the table anyway. I, I use them where sometimes where people eat or I don't even use them for people to eat on, not these ones. I keep plastic ones so they can be washed off. I, I very uh, seldom ever use these ones because once you get food stain on them, it's hard to get it off. So I usually don't, uh, you know, use them for that purpose then i've got uh, this set of um little brass candle holders which are small and cute and they do have some type of uh, design on them i'm not sure if that's a person or if it's an animal or what is on them candle holders i can't make it out but any anyway there is a nice little set of brass um, candle holders and these are six inches in height. Nice set. They probably shine up really good when if you if, you know if you polish them. But I just leave them as is because I don't like to polish stuff because I don't want to um I don't want to uh, you know ruin stuff ruin the material. And this is just a little little I mean a little trivet. Basically, I'd use it just for on the wall. I mean, you could use it under a little pot or a bowl or something. Nice. And this brass is not uh, marked or anything, but it's a nice little, cute little thing. Got four little feet on it. You trivet. And then I got... Uh, I have, um, sorry for digging down here. I might as well just pick this bag up. Whoops. Oh, I'm so sorry. So anyway, the next item I have is this, this set of glasses. And these are from Ray Dunn, which I, I didn't know Ray Dunn. Well, I never see a lot of stuff Ray Dunn, but, you know, only when I'm in the thrift stores, I see, like, pieces sometimes from Ray Dunn. I had picked up a few pieces myself of the Ray Dunn cups. But they have different, I didn't know they made little shot glasses. These are cute and it says celebrate on them. It's in red writing and then in the black writing. And they all say celebrate. They're really nice. They're frosted little glasses. And they are Ray Dunn. So they're really, you know, cute to, uh, to use at your bar. Yeah, they are really cute, Ray Dunn glasses, shot glasses. There's four of those still in the box. And I got these two, um, picked up these two toys for the doggies. Cute little toys, because dogs, uh, little doggies toys are very expensive now. And uh, Walmart and all them places, are, they, uh, they charge so much for everything for the animal stuff. And... Not only the, the not only the toys, the dog food is just keeps going up higher and higher. Every time you go in them stores it's higher and higher. And uh, you know, items you need for animals, their shampoos and 
you know, and I need talking about vitamins and all that kind of stuff, which I wouldn't get for them anyway, but um, it's out of this world, you know, how things are going nowadays. And um, then, you know, it's getting so expensive to keep animals, even though you love animals and you want to help them. Well, you know, they're not giving you a lot of uh, lead weight because, uh, you know, the animal food and uh, any kind of animal, the animal food and everything is so expensive. And, uh, and then you take them to the vet and the vet bills, oh my gosh, just keep going higher and higher. So people ain't even gonna be able to afford uh, to take your pets and stuff to the vets and stuff. After a while, you, they charge you, you know, rabies shots and stuff. Then they got all this other stuff of animals, which you don't even re know if animals are really supposed to be having all that stuff in them. Because after you give them those medicines and stuff, sometimes they're so sick and down and everything, you, you, you get scared for them. You don't know what's going to happen to them. But they come around eventually. But it's like, do they really, is it necessary for animals to need all that stuff in their systems? Because animals, you know, wild animals, you know, they run wild and they live for years. They don't get that stuff in their systems. But, you know, now they've got it, the government, so you have to take them and do this and that to them or you get a fine because you don't have a registration for them and all this stuff. But I don't know, but they become very expensive, the vets. Every day, every time you take your animal to the vet, it gets worse and worse. You need it for this and then this and then this and then this. goes on and on and on you know, medicines and stuff. And then they got this out now where you can get insurance and then, you know, well, you still ain't getting no better deal. No. But it's getting worse and worse and, it's, you know, it's it's sad because people do want to have animals to, to look after and to have, you know, you love them and they're, they're good for your, for your, and for your soul and, you know, you're good for the animal and the animal's good for you and they help you get along in life and, and you know look at seniors and stuff they love animals but I mean living off of the pensions and stuff to live off it's hard to you know how are you going to take animals to the vets and have four or five hundred dollar thousand dollar bills to pay you know it's what it boils down to I know we had a dog and we took our our dog was 11 years old and we took him to the vet he got sick and they by the time they did x-rays of them and did this and that and it was $500 and $800 and by the time they finished and told us no there's nothing they can do for them you know and so we had to put them down and that here was $2,000 bill just like that that's all in one just one day so if we had got anything else done to them God knows how much the bill would have been it was said you know to have to even put them down but I know you can't always think about the money, you think about the animal, but sometimes people just don't have the money to to do all that stuff for their vet, their pet. But that's all you see coming up nowadays is vet, veterinarian uh, veterinarian offices and, and dentists. That's all you keep seeing. The dentist here, dentist here, vets here, veterinary there. It just goes on and on. So anyways, you know, sad but true. But anyway, this next item I have is a Waverly um, border. It's from Waverly, and it's a beautiful border. I only got three, but, I mean, I take, I pick them up because these things are expensive. And, uh, you know, get these for $3 or something. I mean, you can't beat it. So anyway, beautiful border. And these are, you know, it's a good size. They're five yards. Which is which is in is four point five seven meters, and then you've got uh, then then it's a uh, nine inches wide, so that's still a good thing. They're nice and long, nice and wide. But sometimes you I look around for that stuff because you know you want to. Sometimes you like to decorate your house with wallpaper. Something expensive now. Oh my gosh! I used to buy wallpaper years ago. It didn't cost you hardly nothing, but now it costs your arm and leg, another arm and leg, just goes on and on. Oh, Lord, God, the prices, forgive me, Father, for all this, but you can't help it. By the time people, like I said, you have animals to look after, you have to take them to vet, you have your your host notes and your your hydros and your other bills you have and your, your food bills and your gas bills, I mean gas, gas, 
ever since uh, certain things and and uh, the gas went up and never ever went back down. The far as it goes is a little 150 something, keep going right back up, jack it up, jack it up. They wouldn't give people a break. The holidays came and went and still the gas, you know, don't give nobody a break. It's awful. And that's the way it's going to be. But, um, yeah, that's the way it is. But anyway, I've got these nice pair of shoes, and these are, these got like, you know, medallion, metal uh, medallion uh, decoration on them with, with uh, stones in them, which are really nice. The color's nice, they're wedged. And uh, these were like the, the price of for five dollars, you know, it was under five dollars or something because they got them on Seniors Day. I had to take them, I couldn't leave them because. They were so nice, and the price was right. And they're from they're baby fat, and they're a nice pair. Of, they're used, but I mean that's a nice looking shoe. You know, back in the day, oh my gosh, I would have wore them like crazy. Those are beautiful, them shoes. With the decorations on them, the stones and stuff. Wow, and the gold color, beautiful. So that's a uh, baby fat, which uh, for five dollars and something, then to get them for less than five dollars and something, you can't beat that. But it's, you know, got a stone missing here or there, but I mean that can uh, be replaced. You can get those zirconia stones out at the uh, the craft stores, and you know, just get different sizes and whatever you need, and just put them in. But they're a beautiful shoe. And this looks like leather, you know, and then it's got the beautiful, uh, you know, it looks like velvet and, and gold, but they're beautiful. It's a beautiful shoe. So, I mean, you can't go wrong with stuff like that when you find it because you don't come across stuff like that doing for that price. I, I, I couldn't believe that, that they only had five forty nine on them shoes. And then to get a discount on them, I, you know, for the... Seniors Day. No, I couldn't leave those. I had to. I had to take them. There was just no turning back. But anyway, it was nice. And then I took this. Um, I got this box because it's a nice box. You know, one of the metal boxes. It's good for putting your papers in or whatever. But this one has the thing in for, for your money. When you do outside um, yard sales and stuff, it's good for that. That way you have, it's easier when you have your, your change separated because you got to give people back change. And um, just a nice metal uh, tin. And it's got a key, which I mean that key wouldn't do much anyways. But you can also, uh, I even have a metal table so you could, you could uh, you know, screw this down onto your metal table outdoors. But it's, it's, uh, it's nice. Three dollars. Got the key too, so I said I'm not leaving that. I debated. I said, well, I know three dollars. Come on, you can't get it no cheaper. So that was a good deal. And then I've got, uh, I've got, um, I got some linen. I got this beautiful valance, which is a, uh, is an older style valance, and it's a, uh, you know, I think a little vintage. I think it's been out years ago. I think. This was sold in Zellers back in the day, years ago, when we when we had the Zellers years ago, and this is a beautiful pattern. It's a beautiful pattern, greens and blues and pinks in it, and and burgundies and a little bit of like gold and yeah, it's a nice um. I wanted it for this window I had, but the more I look at it, I'm wondering. I don't know if it's even going to fit. Oh, yeah, it does open up more. Okay, it's still folded. Yes, it will fit. But that's nice. Um, it's a nice, uh, still new in its package. It's beautiful. So anyway, I took that for little or nothing. And you know it's old because it's in this old uh, plastic. You know, they don't make that, they don't put that stuff in that plastic no more, not that I know of. I've never seen stuff come in that for years. But anyway, they do have a balance showing on here, but that's not the balance because it does say the balances vary from what's shown on the on the cover. 
But anyway, I like the one that they got in it. I'd rather have the one that's in it, not that one. I like this one with the, yeah, beautiful. So that's a... Uh, And then I got this uh, this purse, this bag, carrying bag, which is really nice. You know, you can take that shopping with you and carry stuff in it. I got someone that I'm gonna give this to. I think it's really nice with the the animal print and all that. With the animal print, beautiful, and it's got the bottom of it's a uh, vinyl or leather too whatever it is pleather leather i don't think it's real leather but it's a beautiful bag beautiful bag and then i got this beautiful color uh yellow um apron beautiful and it's got the it's got the uh different herbs on it sage uh mint thyme and uh chives Cute little apron. I like it because it's got those big pockets. Sometimes when you're walking around the house, you need the pockets because sometimes you like to, I don't like to keep the phone on me that much, but every time I have that phone on me, nobody calls. As soon as I don't have that phone near me, I look and, and there's all kinds of different, you know, things on it. Uh, text messages or calls, I always miss them. I'm not carrying that phone around the house with me. I never do. I don't tend to. If it's with me and I and I see the calls, I take it. If not, so be it. I'm not one for carrying them phones or having them phones around my head every minute. No, nope, don't fizz me one little bit. But anyways, this is a nice thing. It's a fan. Could be a wicker or, or a bamboo or rattan. I'm not exactly sure which material it is. And it's got, uh, it's full of stationery. I think it's got envelopes. It could be all, uh, I think it's cards with it too, but it's all stationery in it. And that's not nice and you can hang it on your wall. Even if you didn't want the stationery in it, you take that out and still hang it up on your wall for a decoration to somebody that decorates with, uh, with this type of material. Beautiful. It is a beautiful uh, item. And I got um, I got this beautiful set of um, blue and white cushion covers. They have a zipper in them, which are is beautiful. So they zip zip all the way around. These zip all the way around. Oh, it's easy to put cushions in these. I don't even know if I've got a cushion these size to try in it. Because the difference is it's more long than... Uh... Oh yeah, see this is how they open. But it's got two zippers on there. Beautiful, the, the covers. Beautiful for anybody that decorates with white, uh, white and blue and they're looking for blue and white uh, cushion covers. Blue and white always looks so nice anyway in your house. You know, you can't go wrong with that color. I know some people might overdo it just a little, but in the last couple of days, though, two, in the last week or so, I saw two beautiful blue and white, uh, let me get in here. Blue and white, uh, one was an umbrella uh, holder was beautiful it was big and it was heavy I couldn't even get it down off shelf but and uh, I couldn't get that I can't get this you know let me try this side but it was beautiful it was blue and white and uh, okay here it is I got the thread get down there thread I don't want to I hate getting thread stuck in a cushion. I gotta cut that off with the scissors. Okay. Yep. It's right there, that thread. Okay, I got it. So anyway, these are beautiful. There's two of them. And uh I'll take this one too, make sure the, the zippers work. And it's almost like a, a linen 
linen pattern inside, but they're really nice, these uh, blue and white. So, yeah, in the last couple of days, I saw a, a, a blue, beautiful blue and white umbrella, you know, stand uh, that you put your umbrellas in. And then, yeah, was it yesterday or the day before, they had this beautiful blue and white food dog. Oh, my gosh, I almost got it, but... I didn't end up getting it, and I thought about thought about, it and I said I should go back and get it, but I didn't. I didn't get it, and I didn't get. It. I know they're probably both gone now. Different stores. One was in one store, and then one was in another. We had two Valley stores up here. One was in one Valley one the umbrella stand was, and the food dog was in the other Valley store. And then this is a beautiful uh, vintage tile made in Canada. This is Caldwell. I know, make sure that I'm saying that it is. Where is that? Oh yeah, Caldwell. And these are basically all made in Canada. But this is pretty, this green and white, uh, green and white uh, towel, vintage. I like to take them when they're um, vintage because can't go wrong and then I got these two beautiful um, cushion covers two beautiful cushion covers for indoors or outdoors probably but these are beautiful with the floral on them the colors are beautiful so this one and I think there's a tag inside it I thought it was, or maybe I was looking at some. Oh no, there is a tag. And I couldn't find out. I don't know if these were made in China or where they was made. Yeah, made in China, but it's beautiful the the covers. Beautiful. Then it has this uh, this little tag, black tag on. This is Harrow Bay. Type of bay. Check these to see if they work. Yeah, that one works. And yeah, and this one works. And they only had, I I think I said two, two forty nine or something. They had on these, uh, or something on one of these, and I couldn't believe it. I said I can't even believe that they got that price on these. That cheap prices, excellent. I guess I just had some luck that week when I was out. And then I found this beautiful book, floral book. It's all different floral in it. This is from 1987, I think. It, it's all different uh, patterns from back in the day, vintage patterns. Or, yeah, they're antique patterns. That's what they're supposed to be. And... Um, Yeah, so this is nice, and this is real. You can take this uh, English floral patterns they are, and look, they're just beautiful. It's real uh, wrapping paper. It's wrapping paper in this book. There's 16, uh, 16 pieces. 16 of them. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look. Look at the colors, they're just gorgeous in them. And you can, you know, you have your, your wrapping paper, which is beautiful. So anyway, there's 16 pieces of these. And, um, can't go wrong with it. I, I didn't know what it was at first, and I, I kept standing in the store looking at it, and I thought it's so pretty, the, 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 you know, and then when I opened it up and looked, I realized it's a, it was a, a it's a pattern, I mean, a, it's a wrapping paper, so you can't uh, go wrong with that, you know, you really can't, can't go wrong with it, somebody can use it.
And then this is just a piece of material I picked up because I bought a, a you know, a, a, what do you call it? You know, the little thing that you put in front of your bed on that end of your bed to set on a, a storage and stuff. A nice one I bought, but I didn't like the, the material that was on. It was only plain material, so I bought this. I got this piece of material for little or nothing to, to upholster that with. And I can always use this to upholster a few other things. This is a lot of material. So anyway, that was a really good find because I was looking for a piece. I, I wouldn't take, take a piece until I found the right one. So that was really nice. And then I thought this was a piece of material. And then I thought it was a sheet. But this is beautiful. This is cotton and uh, polyester, I think. Beautiful green, because see the colors and how it's made? It looks like a sheet, like an old vintage sheet. But it's beautiful. But it's not a sheet. It turned out it's a it's a shower curtain. And I didn't know that was a shower curtain. See, there's the holes there for the hooks. And the colors, I, I thought for sure it was a sheet. And I said, oh, wow, I got to, you know, I tried to look to see if I could, um, find any more pieces to it because I thought it was a sheet set. But it wasn't a sheet set. It's a, it's a shower curtain. And uh, this is 50% uh, cotton, 50% polyester. And this was made in Canada. So this is like one of them old vintage shower curtains. But it's beautiful. Beautiful. So you can't go wrong with that with these flowers and things on it. It's, it's gorgeous. And you can always use this material, you know, for cushion covers or, or uh, to make an, a pair of kitchen curtains or, or, you know, to upholster something with. Beautiful. If it wasn't so light, I would have did that, that uh, bench I got the, with this material, but it was a little too light and the dogs might get on it. And, and I know what, the, you know, what to expect from that. But it was good, good finds. I, I, I'm really glad with what I found. Then I found this uh, beautiful milk glass hurricane uh, lamp. It does work. Really nice. I don't take a lot of these things anymore because I don't want to, you know, don't want to end up with a lot of these and you can't get rid of them. But this one, it's only one, so I thought it might be nice. I got a set in the room that I got to get rid of too, but I just got this one. So... I didn't mind taking that, the one piece. I don't see a lot of them around in good condition. Like I have seen them, but I didn't see a lot that were in really good condition anymore. So I usually don't pick them up no more. I got enough of lamps and stuff. I gave lamps away. I put lamps out. I, you know, I don't use a lot of lamps or lamps and stuff. I got now, I'm just gonna keep them. I'm not gonna collect any more lamps and stuff for myself. I got lamps I gotta get rid of. So I don't want to collect too many more. But uh, this is these are a nice little set of candle holders too. These are um, metal and uh, glass. That's either glass or crystal. I, I'm not. I can't distinguish between it. But they're nice. You know, you put a nice taper candle in it, and uh, you can't go wrong. Really nice. And then you can even hang some uh, prisms and stuff from them if you want to, you know, little ones, little prisms if you can find them. But, you know, these are in all right shape. Uh, need to be probably wiped up. I didn't touch them. I just leave them the way they are. I wiped the, the glass just a little, you know, with the disinfectant stuff. But, you know, I don't polish them with stuff because I don't want to mess up the, the metal. But anyway, this is a really nice set. And these stand at... 11 inches in height or a little more. Beautiful. They got the little Shura dolls on them. So they're nice set. That's nice to find. Don't come across them either a lot. But anyways. So everybody, we're getting down to the... Um, to the last of these items. And the last items I have to show you are the, oh, I've got this one thing, which is, this is one of those things you can put in your kitchen 
or even in your, you know, or hang hats, uh, anything on. This is just one of the smaller ones. You can hang your pots and stuff on, attaches to your wall somewhere, hang your pots and stuff on it if you have space in your kitchen. Or it's all, you can always find use for it somewhere, you know. But it was only a couple dollars, so I said I'm gonna pick that up, keep it for a minute and see what happens, what I do with it. And, and uh, if I don't do anything with it, I'll just take it up and put it in the, in the yard sale. Maybe there's somebody who can use it. So anyway, this last items I have are these two cushions I found, which are really nice, older style cushions. Beautiful, thick. They're thick, nice and soft. And um, they are a nice color. And I think they're still new because they still have the tag and everything on them. Well, they might not be new, but they don't look like they've been used. And they are 17 by 18, and they are Jacquard. Uh, they got other things here I can't read. Multi, you know, multicolored. And they're from Holiday Home Fashions, and these were made in Canada years ago. So they are, uh, you know, I think they're a vintage set of cushions, chair covers, I mean chair cushions. And the color's pretty nice. It's that color from back in the day that they're made of. I remember that color, people, the sofas and stuff, and I even remember people having curtains like that, and you know, different little things that they used to use that material for. So these are really nice. As soft as can be. And, uh, yeah, they were made in Canada. So it's pretty good. I found a lot of things made in Canada. I don't think they make that stuff. The, the contents of this is just polyester fibers, but pretty good. You know, they at least they made it really thick. They made them really thick. The, the, the cushions are really nice, the colors and everything. For someone that wants to change a pace, you know, change a color. You got a couple little chairs that, you know, you get match and you need two cushion covers for those chairs. These are nice. I don't keep it for myself, which I don't think I'm going to, but even if I didn't for someone else, they're nice. So anyways, everybody, I, oh, I'm glad we're finished I'm to the end of it, finally. So i just like to say thank you once again for hanging in there and uh, liking and, uh, you know, for watching and liking and sharing the videos. If you do and when you do, thank you very much. And thank you for all the subscribers and any new subscribers. I appreciate it. And I thank all the people that do follow us on our WhatNot auction. I appreciate it. Thank you for all the purchasers. And hope pray that any items that did get mailed or that you got them safe and sound. And uh, we should be coming up soon with another uh, WhatNot auction. So anyways, everybody... Hi, family. Thank you, family, near and far, wherever you are. I love you all. And uh, I just like to say uh, I'm going to get out of here and let you fellas all go and do what you got to do and enjoy this beautiful day. And uh, happy Wednesday, and thank you very much. And, yes, we will come back and do this again. Have a great one. Mm -hmm.